Your life is a physical manifestation of the choices you've made up until this very moment. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. Today's episode is being brought to you by Audible, featuring the world's largest selection of audiobooks. Successful people have one thing in common. They read more. How do they find the time? With Audible. Get more books in your life. Start a 30-day trial today and your first audiobook is free. Cancel anytime and your books are yours to keep forever. To get started, just go to 7goodminutes.com slash audiobook. In today's audio clip, from our friends at Motivational Videos, Lisa Nichols talks with us about the importance of knowing your purpose. Enjoy. We spend so much time and energy trying to prevent ourselves from falling. We spend so much energy trying to prevent a failure. We spend so much energy making sure we're safe. And if we spent 70% of that energy exploring how we can soar, exploring how we can play bigger, exploring how we can make memories that we absolutely will be excited to tell when we're 85 years old sitting in our favorite rocking chair. If we spent 40%, 50% of that same energy, how would our lives look differently? I'm not saying be reckless. I'm not saying do it without a plan. What I am saying is, so many times I get the question, how do I prevent failure? And I'd love for you to spend that same energy going, how could I ensure that I soar? How can I ensure that I live the life that I want to tell people about? That I write the story that's going to be really, really good to read. So number one is shift your energy on what you want to create versus what you want to prevent. Because energy grows where energy goes. So while we want to mitigate and reduce our risk of falling, reduce our risk of failure, we want to spend our dominant energy on creating possibility and what we want to run toward. Let's create something to run toward that makes your knees knock a bit. And it stretches you. It doesn't stress you. It stretches you. But willpower isn't something you conjure up. Willpower isn't something you drink. Willpower isn't something you download from Google. What you're talking about is how do I make the choices that are in alignment with my highest purpose and my highest vision for myself. That's what you really want to ask. See, your life is a physical manifestation of the choices that you made up until this moment. I'm going to say that again because that gets a little deep. And that can go over some people's head. That can hit you sometimes right between the eyes. And you got to hear it a second time. So here it goes. Your life right now, as it exists today, your finances, your weight, your relationships, your career, your self-esteem, your self-image, your spiritual awareness, all of that is a result of the choices that you made up until this moment, big and small. And just so you know, your life, the way it appears today, is not a result of a few big choices. Even though that's the thing that we look back on, we go, ah, I shouldn't have moved out of the state. Ah, I shouldn't have got into that relationship. Ah, I shouldn't have. We look at the big things. Well, I'm here to disrupt that mindset a bit. Your life experience right now is not so much a result of your big choices, why those impact you. It's really a result of a bunch of small little choices made consistently over a long period of time. Because those are the habits and the behaviors that you've gotten into. So we can talk about willpower and how do I build willpower as if it's something that you can flex in the gym or something you can do crunches or abs or triceps and build, but it's not. The question you should ask, the answer you should be seeking is, What does it take to make my choices become in alignment with the life that I say I want to live? Now, when you say choices, it makes it really sobering because even when you choose to sit down on yourself, it was a choice. So I ask you in this moment, what will it take you to decide to make the choice today? Don't even think about tomorrow. Don't think about next week, but to make the choice today that's in alignment with your health goals. 
Make a choice today that's in alignment with your financial goals. It's the small things. What are you choosing? Let's not even look at willpower. Let's look at choices. Because choice is something you can control in every single moment. And the choice you made yesterday, if it wasn't in alignment with your greatest goal and your highest purpose, okay, yesterday is yesterday. Make a new choice today. You're not ever condemned or sentenced to making the same choice over and over and over again. Every day, every moment, you have a new opportunity to make a new choice. We so often, we wear labels. So can you live through the results that you produce in the world? Can you allow that to define you? Like, this is the bag that you were given. A woman, a man, black, white, Indian, Asian. The religion you were born into, the economic status you grew up under. All of those things are boxes that someone else said, let's drop you in it. And then you had to choose if you're going to stay in it. I am too big to be defined by a box. Any box, uh, any label of any size. Why don't you join that? So don't be successful as a woman. Be successful. Don't be successful as a man. Be successful. Don't be loving and giving as a black person or white person or Asian person. Be loving and giving. Just be. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.